This is gonna be a quick video showing the functionality of the express button. That's this yellow button on top of the scanner here and how we can use it to set up a brand new factory default scanner up to read basic barcodes. This isn't gonna be a very complicated setup, things like triggers, outputs, etc. This is going to be getting a barcode to read without using any software. So this is a matrix nine millimeter liquid lens model. The liquid lens has a software adjustable focus. So the reading distance and the focal point is going to be set using this express button as well. So that's an added benefit of the software focus model. Up on the top here, we've got some LEDs and the function of the express button is indicated by each of these LEDs. So I can cycle through these options using this button. First one, here is the test mode. So this is actually something we're probably going to use last because it's a visual indication of how well the barcode is reading. Next one along is the aim button. So this aim uh, will switch on two lasers that we can use to point the scanner at the code that we want to read. Make sure it's in the center of our field of view. Next one along is the setup button. This is the most important one. This function will set up the contrast uh, the focus, the gain, even exposure time for us. So once that image is set up, the last one we're going to use is learn, which is going to teach the code symbology that we want to read. So I've got a barcode test chart here, which is a code 128, and it's not reading at all. So first thing I wanna do is set up my image by going over to the setup function. So I'm gonna hold down the express button till I get to the setup and then I'm gonna let go. It's now gonna run through, set up. If you hear that indicator, that's finished. So what I now wanna do is learn the barcode symbology I want to read. It should go green. So green spot shows that's now set. And as you can see, that's now reading very well, very fast. So let's just check to make sure that I'm aimed at the code that I want to read. I'm gonna go over to the aim function and you can see these two LEDs here are pointed to the smallest code, the 0.12. So that's fine. That will automatically time out and go back into run mode or you can override it just by push, pushing this yellow button again. Holding the yellow button. Okay. So we've now set the scanner up. It's reading the code very well and data will be coming out of the ethernet cable as default. Let's see how well that barcode is reading by going to the test function. So each of these LEDs are in 20% blocks. So that's 100% read rate. That's very well set up. Um, I can demonstrate that by intentionally changing it. So you can see that dipping down as I bend the code, maybe bring it in and out of focus a little bit. So 80%, 20, I'm not reading completely, down to 80, and then back up to 100. Okay, so that's the express button. Uh, good news is you can configure this to do what you need. You will need the DL code software. So I've got the configuration page up here and you can see that we can actually disable the express button completely. If you don't want anyone getting access to these modes, you can untick it and it's then disabled. It will do nothing whatsoever, that button. But what you can also do is change each of the functions. So these are the options here. Uh, you can see the four that we've used today, which are test, aim, auto setup and code auto learn. You can also change those functions to uh, set a match code you can back, back up, restore and erase backups. You can also turn them off completely if perhaps you only want access to the test mode. So that's the express button.